Hello, no way. Um. Hi, welcome to Harvey's video. Harvey is an off the track that has come here for some training. We have found out that he has difficulty with his contact and, and picking up his right cantilead, which is very common in racing thoroughbreds, especially in Queensland in Australia. Um, and his left canter, although he's easier to pick it up, he apparently falls out to the left or something like that. So today, what I'm gonna do, ideally I'd like to long rein him, we wanna teach him the contact, but basically I wanna get on, see what I've got. It's not necessarily gonna look pretty, and I'm not gonna be suddenly making him go on the bit and you know try and fix him in one session, but we're just gonna see, do we go straight? Do we turn left to right? Does he listen to my legs? And what happens when I canter each way? And then we know where to start. And then tomorrow, we start the plan of his retraining. He's only here for about three weeks. That may change, but we'll see what we can do in that time. So I want you guys to sort of come along on that journey and see basically what I would do and where I'd start. This is him. He's nine. He's done a little bit. Um, he's been off the track for about a year, I think. He's owned by a young girl who hopes to event him. And he, so far he seems like a real little sweetie. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna put Harvey in just my favorite trust egg butt bit so this is a really flexy soft rubber bit and i find a lot of off the tracks like this and it does encourage them to take the contact because it's nice and soft and it doesn't have like heaps of bend it's not going to poke them in the top of the mouth sometimes horses will just lean on it we'll just have a go basically um he may not like the fact that it's thick especially if he's had a bit of a thinner bit in his mouth i know the owner was using just a single jointed tom thumb so this will be new for him. I'm also gonna take up to the arena just a tiny weeny little egg butt French leg, which they're quite different, but I often find if they're not keen on this, they go well in this. And if he's super fidgety, you know, well, anyway, we'll just get a gauge and then we'll make a plan for tomorrow. But we'll have a go both bits, unless this one is the gold star, which, I mean, it's my fave and I think it will be. So anyway, we'll let you know when I'm galloping off down the arena. So off we go. So as I said, I'm just gonna ride around and just see how it feels. Okay, so to start with, I'm literally not asking him to go on the bit. I'm basically at this stage, pretty much trying to just go on the track because obviously in general, people ride on the track or they're doing circles, etc. So it gives me a gauge. And what I found mainly was that he really wanted to drift to the right. So you would, okay, suddenly we've changed direction. Now we're on Amber's camera and for some reason it's like way darker. Um, okay, so yeah, didn't care if his head was up, just wanted to have vague contact on both reins just to see how he handled it. You can see as he comes around here, his mouth's open a little bit. The right rein is always the, um, the bit he didn't like. So then when we are onto the right rein, <clears throat> he just literally feels like he's gonna fall over to the right. So I'm not even holding anything hard. I'm holding my left rein out wide and I have my right leg on to try and encourage him to stay on the track. Um, and my right rein is pretty much kind of just next to his neck. But I'm not trying to school him at this point. So I'm trying to do lots of turns. See, you know, how he handles changing direction. When you turn to the left, he would drift out to the right. <clears throat> he sort of settles a little. Oh, no. So when you're having any contact, really, he's just not overly happy about it. And... He's not doing much. He's not really fighting much. Oh, hello, Jack. So this is when he would normally drift. So my outside rein is right on his neck. Really got my outside leg on just to try and turn him. Oh, going for a bit of a canter. So now we're going to suss out how the canter transitions are. The left canter didn't seem too bad. But obviously he's going to drift because this is the way he can't really turn very well. Not too bad, really. So that gives me a kind of a good spot to work on, but obviously it's very hard to get him to balance, flex, turn and canter when he can't even do it in trot, but not too displeased with that. Um, one direction, the owner has real trouble picking up the lead, but I think that was to the right. For some unknown reason, I didn't canter right. Anyway, now for a bit of schooling, 
see what we get. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of contact and try and ask for the horse to go a little bit more correctly. So a bit straighter. Obviously, when I was riding around, I was trying to sort of get him straight on the track and that kind of thing. On the right rein, this is where he really falls in. So starting to try and get him to bend around my leg a little bit. Um, he's actually sort of wanting to round up quite well. Changing direction, as you can see, ooh, head comes up wants to drift out to the right so that's always a little bit tricky and he doesn't accept the contact particularly well so he's okay if he gets his head into a, a position where he's a little bit lower and I'm not really asking anything of him he's not particularly soft he sort of just hangs on the bit and it being rubber means he can do that um, it's when I ask him to flex or he suddenly decides he doesn't want his head down. That's when he sort of hollows and really just pushes all his weight against the bit. Um, when he's actually flexed like down here, oh, <laughs> but down there, he actually feels quite nice. He's got quite a nice little trot. Um, he's a little bit lazy. So that's, you know, that's part of the battle trying to get these horses round and oh we lost us round and engaged and soft through the back they do have to go forwards but it's quite nice in true organized fashion just realized i had no long reigning videos and amber was about to go away for the night so i quickly filmed her f like look filmed her screen um of me long reigning harvey because otherwise there was like a bit of a gap in videos and didn't really make sense but I find this so, so helpful in getting horses to travel with a correct contact and a correct bend. And they only really are sort of having to battle against themselves with the contact. You know, they're not, I mean, yes, your hands are on the end and you do have to have contact. You can't just have floppy lines, but um they can kind of lean as much or as little as they need to you have a lot more control than lunging so this is what i did so two days of long reining uh i did try and cant him which was a little bit disastrous anyone that has lunged or long reined and off the track knows that they do have trouble turning and they can pretty much yank you down the arena. So the main thing was trying to get the trot a little bit more balanced and a little bit more um, flexion without having to have me on top. And it's really helpful being able to watch the horse. Um, and you really do need to make sure the bend is correct. Yes, anyone could do this, but unless the horse is moving correctly, you could just be literally trotting your horse around hollow, not engaged and not really much help at all. So this is Harvey's first ride since he's long reining for the last few days. <clears throat> he's been going really, really well on the long reins. Uh, mostly been trotting because canter, any of you that know off the tracks, they can get a little bit unbalanced, a little bit quick, and it can be hard to like control them on the circle. And him getting stronger in the trot will make a big, big difference for him being able to be balanced in the canter. And I actually find, I don't have a round yard, which does suck, but I actually find it easier to control the canter when I'm on them. So today I'm gonna see how much he's learned from the long reining. And unfortunately we are so frantic busy. Amber's having to feed. I'm gonna have to work a heap of horses. So we're not gonna get footage of this ride. Maybe tomorrow would be good because that'll be, I don't want to ride them too much before we get a video. Anyway, so today we'll be mainly working on trot, see if I can bend him both ways. And I may attempt to canter just to see where we're at. But the main goal at the moment is to get the trot established and controlled and flexing. And yeah, there's little Harvey. He's so cute. I really like this little horse. He reminds me a little bit of Jed. He's very cute. <laughs> we're going to get a quick video because otherwise it's pointless. He's been very good so far. We can circle, we can go around the track, but we're not yet at the stage of flexing in and out sort of independently because my legs and arms are going to fall off. So the right rein is the rein he finds hardest to balance on, which is quite common with racehorses up here in Queensland. So they want to kind of fall in, which means I have to hold my left rein pretty strong well it's not that i'm pulling i'm holding and he's also holding on the end and he's very heavy um 
So I'll just quickly show you his trot on both reins and I'll do a little bit of a voiceover of what's happening while I'm riding. But this is Harvey after a few days of long raining and yes. So I've obviously actually warmed up Harvey before I called Amber up, but I normally do a lot in walk and I try and get them bending both ways with their neck. So trying to keep the shoulder straight and I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see here. Uh, not sure what I'm doing, but generally the aim is to try and keep the shoulders straight along the track and try and get the head and neck to flex inwards and then outwards. And at this stage, it was still very difficult because I'd need a lot of leg to try and keep him upright. Um, so even just a little bit of flexion, just enough to get him to step underneath with the inside hind and soften through the back. Um, you can see they're going a little slow again. So it was, it's quite important with him to try and like give him a kick and really get him moving forwards because otherwise he gets a bit slow and just kind of pulls on your hands. Um, is a lot straighter going across the diagonal there previously and and he still does do it as you turn to the left he drift out through the right shoulder the right rein still by far so much more difficult and you'll see as i come down this long side still probably holding my left rein out wide yeah really got my right leg on and i've got my right rein up against his neck and you don't really want to cross your hand over the neck because you almost lose the connection to the mouth. But you think about having your hand in the direction towards your outside shoulder. So you almost kind of tilt their nose. Well, not You don't want to tilt from pole to nose, but you just got to get their nose over to the right a little bit. And then when they actually turn their head, you can, you can soften your hand. But at this stage, there wasn't a lot of me being able to soften because every time I'd think, yeah, good boy, and try and soften my hand, he'd almost fall on his face or lift his head up. So um, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes riders worry that the horse is really, really heavy on the hands. They think, oh, my God, it's so strong. And it is quite tiring when you're not used to riding horses all the time. So hopefully you guys got to have a little insight into how Harvey's going after a short period of training there is a lot to be done still but he is definitely on the right route which is good and I still have him for a week for two weeks two weeks so hopefully we will definitely get him you know flexing in and out with his neck and a lot lighter in the frame at the moment I'm just happy for him to take contact so I don't really care um and getting obviously the canter going and we might have a bit of a jump because he is going to be in a sort of pony club into school home well that's where he is owned and he's a really really fun little horse so um make sure you guys are actually subscribed to the channel a lot of you watch these videos but you're not subscribed the benefit of that is that you do get uh, like notifications when i put up a new video you will see it first so make sure there's like a little bell icon underneath this video and so you subscribe and then you click on the bell and turn on all notifications and you will get an email or a text or something or something pop up on your phone when there's a new video um, because I'm sometimes a bit slack at sharing it and unless you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you just won't have a clue so also you know you can go follow me on those Instagram is probably where I'm most lively Facebook I try and keep in the loop that's where I advertise when I'm doing clinics and that kind of thing um, but anyway, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and comment what you found interesting. If you have any questions, what you would like to see, what I missed off. Um, and it really helps the videos out. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you can like the videos and comment, even if it's pointless comment, like great video, <laughs> but you know, I really want to know what you think. Be nice, don't say you're riding like a lemon, because that's really mean. <laughs> but, you know, like it's really insightful to find what, if you get something from these videos. So please let me know. And, you know, have I missed something? Like, was there something that you really needed explaining so you understand what the hell I'm on about? Yeah, let me know, guys. Hopefully see you soon with some more Harvey updates and Jet and everything else that's going on here. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.